uh, everyone. Oh hayo gozaimas, minasang. Selamat pagi semuanya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Om swastiastu, namo buddhaya. And greeting for our wealthy and healthiness. The Honorable Mr. L.T. Handoko, the Head of National Research and Innovation Agency, Kepala BRIN, Pak Handoko. The Honorable Professor Kaneko Sinji, the Executive Vice President Global Initiative Hiroshima University, all the distinguished guests and our beloved Indonesia alumni of Hiroshima University. Okay, uh, first of all, I, I will announce this uh, web, web special event is recorded. And then, uh, then first of all, please let me introduce myself. Maybe not everyone knows me. I am Siti Maimuna. Or everyone inside you call me Maizang. <laughs> I studied at Hiroshima University for my master from 2008-2009. And for my doctoral program for 2012-2015. Now I am assigned to be a director of Polytechnic of Road Transport Safety under the Ministry of Transportation. And in this uh, special web event, assigned to be a master of ceremony. Okay, before we start the program of today's <coughs> event, let us give a high gratitude to the Almighty God, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, upon His mercy and blessing. We can gather together virtually in this event during the pandemic COVID-19 in a good health. And how this event will go? Opening remark by uh, Dr. Laksana Trihandoko, the head of National Research and Innovation Agency of Brin within 10 minutes. Continuing presentation by Professor Shinji Kaneko, overview of Hiroshima University alumni in Indonesia for 30 minutes. And then uh, after that, there is a breakout season for 15 minutes and the total number of room, maybe it four to five room later, depend on the total of participants today. And then break season for 15 minutes. The, after that, uh, the closing remark by Professor Shinji Kaneko. Then this is uh, the program which uh, will go for this morning event. So first of all, please uh, allow me to read the curriculum vitae of the Bapak Handoko. Bapak Handoko no, is a chairman of the National Research and Innovation Agency of Brin of the Republic of Indonesia. Uh, he was alumni of the Kumamoto University for bachelor degree and then the master and doctoral from the Hiroshima University. And then uh, the bureaucratic experience. He was a uh, head of the group of uh, theoretic physics and compu computational, computational physics research center of LIPI and then the head of informatic research center, center LIPI, deputy of engineering science, chairman of Indonesia Institute of Science, and then now is a chairman of the National Research and Innovation Agency. The academic experience, uh, he was the lecturer in the many university also, including the University of Indonesia, Bogor Agriculture Institute University, and also visiting researcher in uh, abroad, not only in Indonesia. Uh, her professional organization, so many also here, yeah, I, I couldn't, maybe I will not read all, but uh, he also has a uh, three patent here about the connection system to the multi-grid grid with open cluster regular patent, modern network robot system regular patent, and also automatic electronic control of water level in the reservoir, reservoir tub, simple patent um, in 2008. So that's a uh, briefly curriculum video of our opening remark from the Mr. Handoko. And then uh, please time is your Pak Handoko for giving opening remark for this special web event. Thank you. Pak Handoko uh, masih di mute. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mai Sang, for a very nice introduction. So, Honorable uh, Kaneko Shinji Sensei, the, the Executive Vice President for Global Initiative, uh, Hiroshima University. Uh, Bapak Ibu, ladies and gentlemen, all colleagues of Hirodai alumni, 
yeah, some some of you, yeah, I I'm very familiar with some of you, of course, yeah. Minasama, very good, very good morning, selamat pagi, Ohio, besai mas. So, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Om Santi Santi Om, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan. So, it is a great honor for me to join this uh, first webinar for Hiroshima University alumni in Indonesia. And also because personally, uh, <coughs> I'm, I was asked to deliver an opening remark by uh, Kaneko Sensei. And on behalf of my colleague at the Hiroshima University alumni in Indonesia, I would like to take this opportunity to express our sincere appreciation to Kaneko Sensei for initiating this event. And in particular, the webinar is designed as the first step toward uh, establishing the Indonesia chapter of Hiroshima University alumni, as I heard from Kaneko Sensei uh, before we started this uh, webinar. So I personally actually uh, have, uh, have deep emotional bonds and very nice memories of Hiroshima. Yeah? During my uh, five years graduate study at Hiroshima until 1998. Yeah? after finishing my undergraduate at Kumamoto, as already mentioned by my son. And not only because I obtained my master and PhD uh, there, but also I had so many Japanese and Indonesian friends. Yeah? Some of them are uh, joining this webinar. And actually, one of them is uh, my lovely wife. Yeah? So, and uh, <coughs> Minasang, I am very pleased to support Hiroshima University Alumni Network, and I do believe this would bring many benefits to all of us and also our current institutions. Yeah? In particular, I strongly encourage uh, our academics and researchers uh, mm -hmm. in Indonesia to open collaboration with any global partners across the globe to improve uh, our capacity and competency on conducting advanced research. So on the other hand, uh, foreign partners, yeah, including from Hiroshima University, of course, are always welcome to join our global platforms uh, we are constructing right now in some topical research. So uh, taking this opportunity, I would like also to inform you that in particular, we are right now uh, constructing the biodiversity, the global platform for biodiversity research in uh, GP Nong Science, uh, CSC, GP Nong Science Center, yeah, in GP Nong area, yeah. And also we are constructing new research vessels, yeah, for oceanic research, yeah, in addition to our existing fleet of research vessels, uh, five research vessels we already have, and also the space observation site at uh, Kupang, yeah? uh, Nusa Tenggara Timur, yeah? East Nusa Tenggara. So within uh, National Research and Innovation Agency, yeah? Badan Riset dan Inovasi Nasional, yeah? Green, I would like to inform you to, uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> I would like to inform you that we have uh, established also several schemes to encourage local and global researchers mobility. Yeah? Uh, the schemes uh, consist of uh, visiting professorship, postdoctoral fellow, PhD by research, and also uh, we will soon hopefully release open call for also expedition yeah, using our fleet of research vessel, as I already mentioned. And so taking this opportunity, I would like to invite uh, all of you, yeah, the Indonesian and also Japanese researchers, in particular, all of Hiroshima University family to join our collaborative and mobility program in the near future. So I think all of us could take the advantage of being the Hiroshima University alumni to establish a mutual beneficial collaboration between uh, our institution and any research group at Hiroshima University that uh, I believe uh, you are already familiar yeah, and may know each other very well. Yeah. So for participants uh, who are currently uh, still studying at Hiroshima University, I wish you a successful study. Take your time.
to learn a lot of things, not only the knowledge related to your field, yeah, but also to understand Japanese culture and also Japanese language. Yeah, I think uh, this this would be very important for your future. Yeah, and for someone who are interested in conducting further research after getting PhD, yeah, in the future. So Green, hopefully. Uh, our national research and innovation agency. Yeah, hopefully every year we will open a few hundred positions for young PhD holders in any field of research. So please don't worry uh, if you uh, think to continue your passion on uh, doing research. Yeah, for example, uh, after finishing your PhD, we are ready to uh, welcome you as one of our researchers. So this year, yeah, in particular this year, we soon open new recruitment with a total of 325, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, sorry, 300, 325 positions, yeah, either the permanent uh, position, yeah, as uh, PNS, yeah, in Bahasa Indonesia, or uh, the contract based position, yeah, as the PPPK, yeah, P3KK, yeah. So Kambate Kudasai, yeah. Uh, I do believe Yoi uh, Soraina Mukairare to Yoi, yeah, Mas, yeah. So I hope all of you will be proud of uh, being the Hirodai alumni and Hirodai family, yeah. Even after finishing your study in the near future, just like all of us here. So last but not least, uh, have a nice webinar and discussion. I wish you all stay safe and healthy in the current pandemic, uh, which unfortunately no one knows when it will over. So I'm looking forward to seeing your real activities regarding Indonesia chapter of Hiroshima okay. University alumni. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimas. Om Santi Santi Om. I pass time back to my son. Terima kasih. Terima kasih, Pak Hanoko. Thank you very much, Pak Hanoko, for your opening remarks. As the alumni and also not the chairman of the BRIN, it will bring our alumni to have more collaboration on research, I hopefully, among of the alumni and also with the Hiroshima University. Thank you, Pak Hanoko. And then the second presentation is will be from the Kaneko Sensei. Uh, Kaneko Sensei, you can uh, have 30 minutes for your presentation. And this is, will be the overview of the Hiroshima University Alumni of Indonesia. Time is yours, Kaneko Sensei. Hi, thank you very much, my son. And good morning, uh, friends and alumni in Indonesia. Uh, Selamat pagi. And hello to the old Indonesian student in Hiroshima. Um, and thank you very much for participating in this webinar. My name is Kaneko. I've been working for IDEC for around 20 years. And then currently I was appointed as the executive vice president for global initiative at the International Office of Hiroshima University. Um, I'd like to also thank you, Dr. Handoko, uh, for agreeing to participate in this uh, event, such a very short notice. Uh, despite your very, very busy schedule. And congratulations on your recent appointment as a minister. We are all very much proud of that great news here in Japan. As I will explain later, at the time when the, the, the world is now uh, rapidly changing and transforming due to this COVID-19, it is a great uh, opportunity at the same time to get started something different international project. So our international office of Hiroshima University decided to initiate a new uh, international project, which uh, we will explain it later as a uh, Indonesian chapter. It's a new form of international hub and then new collaboration with alumni. So I really appreciate your participation and your inputs. Um, still this, you know, the format and formulation of this new initiative is open at this moment. So I really, uh,
uh, hope that we can have very productive time today uh, for our discussion. The first of all, uh, let me uh, share with you some of the information from our side about updates and then some outlook of the alumni group in Indonesia. So let me share, I mean, use this um, screen uh, here. I hope this, okay. Uh, I hope you can see now here yeah, the slide. Is that okay? All right. So for this event, uh, we'll examine the data that we have at the Hiroshima University. When you graduate, uh, most of you, but not all, register as your, you know, the, the graduation uh, for, for few further, I mean, future certification purposes. With that database, we constructed uh, the first time to this chart, and then the number of graduates are, are rapidly increasing uh, recently. And at the same time, we discovered also the cumulative number of graduates are more than 900 from Indonesia. So we, we carefully check it and then somehow avoid the duplication because some of them started the, you know, the masters and PhD as Dr. Handoko, then in the database that can be double counted, but then we clean up all those and then independent, uh, you know, the persons, we found that we have more than 900 alumni, which is really large group. Uh, of alumni in Hiroshima University. And this is the, uh, the home institution wide of the, you know, the number of graduates. And then the pink shows that the, the undergraduate, uh, you know, the, the program who did not move, I mean, continue to uh, graduate program. And we have 195. And then top number here shows like in education school and followed by engineering and density. And this is much more bigger group, like most of them are graduate school alumni. And then number one is IDEC, it's around 300. And followed again by engineering alumni, 187, and then education and, and so on. And because of some of the reform of the schools and school names, and even in the same area, um, some, you know, the, the student number is separated, uh, but we have some number of alumni in medical science also, uh, and it's another uh, group of, you know, the alumni expertise. Uh, so we also figure some of the really renowned, like, uh, you know, the, the successful alumni, as already explained, uh, this Dr. Handoko, and then uh, we have some others like Dr. Ahmad uh, Jazidi. Uh, they, uh, he is, was awarded uh, by this, uh, you know, Japanese government, the Order of Rising Sun in 2020. Uh, he graduated from the engineering as well, I mean, from uh, 1995 and then uh, serve as a, a Dean of Faculty of Engineering of ITS. And we have also another distinguished alumni, uh, Dr. Andy Munshi Tanra, uh, from the School of Medicine of Hiroshima University, and then uh, the Emeritus Professor of Hassanuddin University. And he's also awarded like all the order of uh, the rising sun in 2020. And then we have also another distinguished alumni uh, in ITS also, Dr. Agus Zainal Alfin. Um, we have more, I mean, much more, uh, you know, the, the distinguished alumni, I, I, I cannot like, introduce all of them, uh, but then the, those group of 900 alumni Many of them are really performing very well uh, and then distinguished uh, alumni. And at the moment, uh, we have four regional alumni associations in Indonesia. And one in Jakarta, and then the other one, Surabaya and Bandung. 
Dun and Makassal. So that's been operating for many years. And then uh, totally approximately 300 alumni are, are registered so that we can have some contact for those alumni. And you'll see like we have 900 alumni and then we can have some contact at the moment like 300 plus. So one of the challenges to restore those contact for those 900 alumni but then we have four regional associations of alumni at the moment in Indonesia. Um, we have two centers, Hiroshima University centers in Indonesia, one in Jakarta, Prasada University, and the other one is Bandung Center. And main activity in this Prasada uh, Hiro Hiroshima University Center is Japanese uh, language and cultural uh, education. And then the, the Bandon Center is uh, more on engineering collaboration. And uh, the Prusada uh, Center is uh, conducting uh, the Japanese essay speech contest in, Jap in Indonesia. Uh, this is one of the most active collaborative project with Hiroshima University at the moment. Um, you can see uh, 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 the large number of attendees are, are uh, there in this uh, speech contest uh, headed by this uh, uh, Prusada uh, HU Center. Um, this is the recent uh, uh, activity at the Hiroshima University in Japan uh, with Indonesia. We hosted the, the lectors conference between Japan and Indonesia in 19, 2019, October. And then quite large number of, you know, the university lectors uh, visited the Hiroshima University and then uh, uh, interacted uh, with this, you know, uh, the university leadership. And we have also had a courtesy call from the, the embassy of Indonesia in Tokyo in 2020. And then uh, deputy chief of mission from the embassy she visited uh, Professor Ochi, a uh, president of Hiroshima University. Um, okay, and um, this is also a, a great like uh, collaboration in Indonesia. We have a very large number of MOU. Uh, this is uh, 27 university to university level of MOU, 27 institutions, and then we have 48 agreement with this faculty and school level agreement. So, so that, that we can significant collaborative partnership with the Indonesian academic institution with Hiroshima University. And these are ongoing uh, Kakenhi research project um, that we, we exploit uh, for this webinar. And then currently six Kakenhi projects are going um, and some of them are uh, mangrove and some of them are groundwater. And then uh, the multidimensional uh, citizenship education and so on and so forth. Um, and so that uh, we can have a very, very broad range of, you know, the research interest. Um, some of the faculties working in Indonesia. And then uh, SATREPS is one of the very large uh, research project with JST and JICA. And then one of these uh, project is uh, uh, conducted by HU professor, Professor Kubota, who is con constructing the vernacular, you know, the climate, resilient, climate friendly building in Indonesia uh, with some housing industry of Japan. So this is uh, one of the large projects operated in, in operating in Indonesia now. Um, this is another uh, the exchange project uh, uh, between HU uh, professor and then Indonesian partner, and this is uh, more in the medical and biological uh, science group. Uh, they are uh, uh, doing this exchange program. Okay, um, then uh, as you might be a part of the member of this uh, uh, student uh, 
International Student As Association at the Hiroshima University, and uh, which has been established very long time ago, and they are actively working in in, in Hiroshima. And then uh, these are uh, some of, of the recent activity. They also do this uh, uh, similar uh, uh, webinars and online discussion uh, by this student uh, group of Indonesia. And they also do this podcast and social media promotion of the information. So um, you can uh, also be part of this uh, kind of activities. All right. Um, this is another one recent uh, initiative that the International Office started during the COVID period. Uh, we have an online student exchange program. Uh, and this is one of the programs the nation uh, university, IT, and then also university and HU. So three university students uh, interact and discuss on renewable energy planning. Uh, in different regions and contexts uh, in the last uh, last semester. Okay, so this is, uh, I, I just uh, very briefly go through the uh, uh, overview of the outline of the HU alumni and HU uh, activities in Indonesia. Now, let me uh, move on to this, uh, you know, global hub project that we are uh, started uh, at the international office. So now Hiroshima University has 23 bases, global bases uh, from different parts of the world. And two of them I just introduced in Indonesia. So we have like uh, the very large number of international centers and bases at the global scale. At the same time, in many cities uh, in Asia and then one in Brazil, uh, we have uh, uh, 16 uh, alumni uh, associations at the moment. And four of them are located in Indonesia. So these are the kind of, you know, the, the international uh, hub and uh, the, the basis for two major uh, network, one in HU Center and the other one is Alumni, International Alumni Associations. Okay, um, let me then share with you some of the challenges for those. Um, many of the overseas bases of HU do not regularly operate actually. We established 23 bases but uh, not all of them are actively operated. Um, some of the reason because the, they, they do not have a stable budget and they do not have the person in charge regularly. So uh, this is a little bit more like ad hoc project basis center that we are operated but uh, they cannot really then successfully link to the various activities on, uh, for education and researches at the Hiroshima University. So many of international centers have these challenges at the moment. And at the same time, many of these overseas alumni association do not have some constant and regular financial resources to to operate very actively. So uh, because uh, alumni association at the Hiroshima University, they usually collect the membership fee only once when they graduate. So uh, the many of the associations like alumni association do not have some kind of regular financial resources uh, to have some continuous activities. So oh, those are the challenges. If to learn some of the sector alumni and the international office collaborate project in other university, the alumni association makes a significant contribution to the development of the university. And then they have established a system where uh, the alumni can benefit 
directly uh, from those joint projects at the same time uh, indirectly benefited from uh, the the main reputation of the presence of their graduated university so we try to learn and have those kind of you know new new type of uh, collaborative partnership with university we are uh, looking for the potential pilot project country and location and what uh, we found that the very large number of alumni from indonesia and also high interest from the faculty and the student at the hiroshima university for research and uh, international exchange programs in indonesia and also at the same time very high interest from japanese industry in indonesia we discover uh, we might i think uh, get started this pilot uh, new initiative from indonesia so that's the uh, reason why we proposed this webinar and started th this new initiative and would like to discuss with this uh, you know the uh, potential future collaborative partnership with the indonesian alumni So what we are thinking at the moment from some of the successful uh, experiences from other universities in, in other country, we need to have some kind of stable annual, annual, annual like kind of membership fees and revenue for operating the uh, large scale of, uh, you know, the services for the members. So we try to introduce some of the kind of annual membership fee together with some of the mobilization of HU resources and also private uh, companies contributions. And then if we have some uh, kind of stable administrative function to provide the stable services for the members, um, we can uh, do a lot of joint project in a very stable and also developing manners like growing manners and some of the examples are shown here but then i think we can we did it for the survey monkey so that uh, i will i will then explain those kind of uh, possibility in the next uh, next few, few slides okay so uh, my son conducted uh, this survey monkey uh, 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 the survey uh, during the May 26 to June uh, 7. And then we got uh, more than 250 uh, responses from the alumni and then current students. And the very crude proposal that we want, do we want something new type of alumni initiative like Indonesian chapter? And then 99% of the response, respondents say yes. And these are the kind of home institution of respondents. And uh, so then IDEC uh, is number one as a kind of representing of the whole population. But then we have 198 alumni and then this is more, more like uh, proportional to the population structure of the home institutions and these are the uh, the the structure of the home institutions of the current students and then many of them are coming from the the humanity and social science and engineering and we have some uh, uh the 11 uh, advanced science and engineering also okay um the uh the, the number of respondents by graduation uh, year. And then uh, this is also somehow proportional and representing the whole population, uh, the year-wide -wide distribution of graduation that I showed you at the very beginning of my presentation. And 67% are alumni graduated in 2010s, so that from 2010 to 2020, more recent alumni. Um, these are the kind of keywords of uh, the current affiliations, and many of them are coming from university, 
And one interesting uh, keyword is Ministry of Finance. And this one is a kind of interest. What uh, type of activities uh, you, you want uh, to propose uh, as a kind of chapter activities? And then scholarship, research, information, and, list, and then other, other opportunities are, are big voices for the interest of the activities. And more specifically, these are the kind of, you know, the, 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 the voting of the uh, interested uh, activities. And number one is online networking among Indonesian alumni. And second is online networking with global alumni. And then third is seminar in Indonesia on HU research. Seminar in Indonesia means the in-person seminar where HU professor visit and talk. And then number four is webinar on HU research so that you can see a, a quite high interest for the HU ongoing research uh, uh, presentations. And number five is the seminar in Indonesia on HU activities like what I just reported. And online number six is online networking with Japanese alumni. And then number seven, webinar on HU activities in Indonesia. And number eight is seminar in Indonesia on HU international activity in general. Um, number nine is offline network in Indonesia among Indonesian alumni that you may, I think, organize by yourself regularly in Indonesia. And then it is interesting at the number 10 that you say uh, joint fundraising for scholarship to support Indonesian students. That really what we want to have this uh, because if we have our own scholarship fund that we can select the student by yourself. Otherwise we have to depend on the decision of Japanese government. We rely on the government scholarship so this is one very interesting kind of result from the, the survey. And we will, we will share it upon your request for the more further detailed information later, but then these are the kind of priority list of the proposed activities. Okay, and the last one, uh, this is at the moment willingness to contribute like a annual participation fee, which is 200,000 at the moment. This is reasonable as because we do not really specify yet what type of services that you can have it. But uh, despite with that situation, you show that your interest to contribute that 200,000 uh, rupiah per year. So that is not bad number, I think. And then for this uh, preferred day and time for the seminar uh, that you say like Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, so that we decided to organize this webinar in this time slot. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for thank listening. You. Maybe Pak Handoko still here. Okay. Maybe Pak Handoko will leave soon. Okay. Or already leave? Already. Uh... I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Already listened. To it. Okay. Okay. So, shall we continue for the next program, or do we have any question that somebody is raising hand so that maybe we can? Okay. Uh, before continue to the next program, this uh we will break the session to uh breakout room. Maybe uh there is any question or comment or other things. Are uh, welcome, Pak Iqbal Jawad. Hi, Dozo. Uh, belum di unmute, Bapak. Pak Iqbal. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Kaneko Sensei. Please allow me first to introduce myself. My name is Iqbal Jawad from Hasanuddin University. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm in Makassar. So I was graduate at uh, Hiroshima University is uh, 1996. 
from uh, Faculty of Applied Biological Science. I have one, uh, I, I was thinking about the uh, collaboration between Hiroshima University and all of the friends in Indonesia through uh, online. So if you, uh, if I'm not wrong, I saw your presentation about we have to do some collaboration, for example, uh, uh, teaching, teaching collaboration or some student exchange. But in right now in the pandemic, it's quite difficult to do like that. So we have a free, a lot of free uh, time. Mm -hmm. So we can, uh, we can, we can do some uh, collaboration through the uh, webinar. So I suggest to uh, do some collaboration about the some unique, unique uh, issues. Uh, Indonesia, we have a lot of indigenous knowledge. So we, we, can, we can arrange one, one class or one course about indigenous knowledge that the, the teachers is coming from Indonesia. And then the participants is coming from Hiroshima University. I believe your students in Hiroshima University, uh, maybe they didn't know much about the indigenous, a lot of indigenous knowledge in Indonesia. Indigenous, indigenous knowledge mean uh, like a biodiversity or something like that. And then from your side, from uh, Hiroshima University, I, I, I agree 100%. If you uh, give me opportunity to hear, to get some lesson learned from uh, how to Hiroshima University uh, becoming one of the uh, uh, university that uh, recognizes world-class university that have connection with the industry, mm -hmm. especially for, for example, with Mazda, with Sakai, Sakai in uh, rice in agriculture and Mazda is engineering and also in health. Mm -hmm. uh, so so you, can, you, can, you can sharing your knowledge mm -hmm. from your side and then we can mm -hmm. sharing our knowledge from mm -hmm. Indonesian side. Okay, okay. I, Akbar san, thank you. Thank you very much for your input. We will have those kind of, uh, you know, discussion in the next session in a separate group. So that please uh, suggest like uh, this uh, platform is for the alumni, in which as you suggested, more individual possible collaboration in particular topic between university to university can be somehow, you know, designed. And so that from the alumni association in each individual university collaboration can be possibly arranged that we are trying to have those platforms that can provide the services for all alumni. So you can you can maybe propose it and discuss in the separate loop that we are trying to, to do it just through, from after this. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much for okay. your suggestion. Thank you, Pak Iqbal. Uh, sensei, there is also Yudi Dharma. Yudi Dharma is the chairman of the Indonesian Alumni Association in Bandung. Uh, Maybe okay. Pak Yudi Dharma, do you want to have something okay. to say? Then, uh, no. yeah. Uh, masih di mute, Pak Yudi. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody. I also saw uh, Professor Tandra raise hands. Mm. Hey, Prof. Tandra, you, you would like to, to, to give a comment first? Okay. Okay, let, let, let me uh, give a comment first. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. I also saw uh, Professor Irawan from IP. Good morning, Pak Irawan, Pak Iqbal, Pak Ufusis Tandra. So since uh, uh, Kaneko Sensei currently act as the, the executive for the international collaboration, probably it is uh, good for us to, to design uh, the grand strategy 
of Hiroshima University and uh, some uh, uh, alumni association in Indonesia in the future. So probably uh, as we know that all the university in, in the whole world uh, now uh, try to uh, attract uh, many, uh, let's say international activity, including uh, staff and student mobility. And uh, probably this is uh, a good moment for us to start a, a new season. And I hope that uh, Professor Shinji Kaneko can, can, can let's say, uh, uh, develop uh, a good and, and, and uh, let's say, a strategic plan in the future. Uh, as we know that uh, Hiroshima University currently uh, still in progress to increase the, the international uh, exposure, right? And uh, as we know, another university in Japan, not only in Japan, I think, and also from, from Korea, from China and the other world, would like to invite all of the, the scholar and academician uh, from Indonesia. And, and uh, I, I, I feel sometimes, uh, yes, the, the, the connection between the Hiroshima University and the alumni uh, currently not uh, too, let's say, too, too, too strong. Probably we, we need to, 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 to think about this uh, uh, seriously. And I hope that uh, all the, 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 the Hiroshima University alumni in Indonesia will contribute actively. So we are ready to, 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 to let's say, to, 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 to arrange and to manage uh, let's say uh, some collaboration and strong uh, uh, program with Hiroshima University. So you know, in Bandung itself, as, as you mentioned before, we have the Hiroshima University Center. But uh, yes, we are trying to, to, to create some activity, but uh, yes, up to now, uh, we, we only still uh, generate a limited activity. Mm -hmm. And hope that uh, in the near future, with the spirit, with the new, let's say, uh, people like like a staff from Hiroshima University, so we can uh, start a new, uh, let's say, era for the Hiroshima University and the Indonesian alumni in Indonesia in the future. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's all of my my, my thought. And yeah. then thank you thank very you. much. Thank you, thank uh, you for this. Uh, you know, the the plenary we cannot take up all your inputs, so that we plan to have some kind of group discussion. And then we need, I think we plan to have a five rooms, right? So that uh, we then we have, we need some kind of voluntary chair. So that please try to have those like, uh, you know, the, the voluntary chair, then uh, collect all those input from the other participant and supporting set. So, and then can I have a, a few words and just very few, Tanla want to say, I mean, you, you raise your hand before going to the, before going to the group discussion, can we have a very few uh, input from Professor Tanla? Okay, please unmute. Yes, a very simple one, because uh, in Makassar, uh, we have uh, more 200 uh, alumni from Japan uh, gathering in Persada, but uh, for Hiroshima University has uh, 35 and 24 for medicine and 11 for uh, engineering. My simple question is because we have many friends alumni from Japan, is it possible also a friend from other universities to join our uh, uh, organization to the other side? Uh, you mean the, the scope of uh, scope of membership? Yeah, yeah, because they are. Can we invite? Yeah, that's very. Yeah, that's, a very, yeah. that's that's one of the. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So that's one of the issue that we would like to ask your inputs. So let me then um, show you the uh, the group discussion setting. Okay, so we will have 15 minute discussion by five rooms.
and then uh, followed by a 15 minute reporting session. Uh, at the moment, I don't know exactly how many are online now, but there are 120, uh, 120, Sensei. around 120. Oh, really? Really? I hope that uh, we need to have very good, you know, uh, it, uh, from those 20 plus. A kind of issue to be discussed in the, the room is what type of activities and project that the new Indonesian chapter can implement. And then that is also connected to the second second question, who should be involved and then how we can attract them. One of them, we restrict the membership within the alumni of Hiroshima or we broadly uh, expand the scope like what if whoever who graduated from Japan or whatever who has interest in joining that. And one of the, my, my thought is to be partnership with the industry. They have a strong interest in collaboration of this particular group of alumni. I, I plan to invite them to be part of that. That will be in the next webinar uh, uh, topic. Resources, we definitely need uh, the strong and stable financial resources to sustain these activities. So uh, please try to discuss in those three major topic in each uh, group discussion and then get back to us in the reporting session. So the grouping can be random. I mean, the system randomly assign your room and then you, you, you will be somehow, you know, uh, move to the each room. And then in each room, please find the voluntary chair to summarize the discussion. Okay. So shall we start this, my son? Okay. 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 Jadi sebelum nanti dibagi so, ke breakout session ya. <laughs> okay, Sensei. Yeah, so, yeah, you son, can you do this group discussion? Can you, I mean, can we start like uh, the group one very shortly? Maybe report. Uh, okay, uh, the group one is from my group. Maybe uh, Pak Yudi Dharma or Osi can deliver what is a conclusion from our, actually not finished yet, Sensei, but uh, we already have the. Yeah, idea. this is short, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, mungkin Pak Yudi Dharma atau Mbak Osi, monggo. Pak Yudi Dharma bisa kan Pak Yudi ya? Monggo Pak Yudi. In briefly. I'm <laughs> need I'm mute. Okay. Okay, thanks. Uh, so you, you only have a the uh, short time for discussion. But the main point in the group one is about the organizations, uh, Kaneko Sensei. So currently we we, we have a four uh, chapter in Indonesia, uh, but sometime uh, there is no uh, communication uh, in between, and also sometimes we, we, we have some 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 issue about the member about the the, the the Hiroshima University alumni is not belong to this area. For instance, uh, we have a member in Semarang in in, in uh, Mid Java, and uh, sometimes make me confused. Uh, which uh, chapter will be followed by, by this member. So at the end of this discussion in the group one, uh, we, we suggest that probably so Indonesia as a nation need to develop one of the Hiroshima University Association in the level of uh, a country. So uh, Indonesia uh, Hiroshima University Alumni Associations uh, probably uh, need to be developed uh, above of the Bandung, Jakarta, uh, Makassar, and, and uh, Surabaya chapter. So uh, we hope that, that uh, this, this uh, global organizations uh, in the whole nation uh, we will accommodate uh, the, 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 the membership of uh, another uh, Hiroshima University alumni in Indonesia. So 
after we develop uh, this uh, uh, main organization, let's say uh, uh, headquarter of Indonesian organizations, so we can uh, uh, elect uh, the, 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 the committee, the executive, and then we can, uh, uh, let's say, arrange and manage uh, some uh, program. So below this uh, organization, we hope that uh, the, 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 the program of Indonesian Alumni Association will, will, will come up. So that, that, that's uh, the, the main idea. So about the detail program uh, can be uh, discussed uh, later on. Uh, according to the the, the statute and, and and the regulation and and the, the 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 let's say the the rule of the organization later on that's uh, our our uh, conclusion in the group one uh, uh, at the moment thanks oh thank you very much that's in line of what we are thinking and planning so we want to then further discuss on this issue. And um, I think could ta ta yes, Prof, Prof Tandra, we, we will have some, some yeah. comment. So yeah, okay. if somebody can help Professor Tandra to open up uh, uh, his mic. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Uh, yeah, I agree about the establishing uh, Indonesian uh, alumni association from Hiroshima University. But uh, we have to think about the persada because uh, so far uh, we are belongs under the, the persada. Persada is a uh, 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 Indonesian association of alumni from Japan. So we have to talk to them before establishing this. Yeah? Because we are still under persada. Yeah? This is uh, our life. We should not forget about our persada. Um, that we are not competing with the person. Mm, of course. Okay? Of yeah. course. Yeah. Thank and you. Also, and also, yeah, we are not competing. We are under the person. So we have to ask permission that in order to advocate our activity, we would like to focus on this point and, and so on. Yeah, that's uh, I would like to emphasize. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we well noted that point, and then we will communicate with the Prasada. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. So, shall we move uh, uh, group two? Yeah. Who who can report the group two discussion? Maybe you need a mute. Uh, Nofi, Nofi, Nofi Sang. Okay, please, Nofi Sang. Yeah, um, hello everyone. Good to see you all. Um, I would like to deliver, uh, we have five points from group two, um, uh, despite the very short mm. <laughs> time we had, but when yeah. we tried. So uh, the first one uh, is that uh, we need to also include um, private companies from private companies. Mm. Like um, it will be very good for uh, us, the alumni, to open the gate between especially Hiroshima, maybe Hiroshima or Japan companies uh, to uh, have, a, to create the bridge between uh, private companies in Hiroshima, especially, or in Japan in general, uh, with the alumni of Hiroshima University. And also maybe because there are some alumni who are still, you know, searching or developing their career, maybe they are not, uh, how to say, established their career yet, so we need to also uh, help the, them. And then the second point is the uh, to also um, include policy policy as a topic of our discussions. Uh, if we create webinar or something or any other event, then we also can include uh, policy. Uh, for example, we may uh, search or explore first what kind of research have been done by uh, Indonesian alumni in Hiroshima University related to policy, then we can create the webinar that we can, how to say, make a conclusion or something like recommendation um, to uh, be supplied both to Japanese uh, or also to Indonesian uh, uh, party. And then the third one is uh, related to the platform. We need the platform for the alumni. Uh, we are not sure because some of us in the group too we are not so well aware on the uh, organization of this, uh, 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 how to say, uh, 
the update, uh, the most updated one. So we, uh, some of us are wondering if we already have the platform, uh, for example, website or group or something like that. So we can keep uh, continuously communicate. And then uh, please, uh, from group two, if I miss something, you can add. <laughs> uh, and then the fourth point is about the, uh, the, 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 the funding, the funding. Membership fee, uh, we, um, I think most of us agree to have membership fee. And, but the most important is that this alumni group has to have an official account so that uh, if we have membership fee or uh, we can later in the future maybe search for sponsorship or something um, that can uh, support the funding of this organization. And then maybe that's all. Was it five or four? I think that was four, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was four. Is, uh, do I miss something? Maybe somebody from group two can add if I miss uh, one more point. Uh, yeah, maybe that's all for now. Uh, maybe later, my colleague, my friend yeah. from the group two can add. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank very, you very productive. Much. Very efficient, smart. Thank you. Great. Coffee. Practically Be helpful. Careful. Thank you. Coffee, it seems like uh, at a rot site. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Oke, okay, yeah, maybe uh, from group B, uh, Pak Unggul. Nah. Silahkan Pak Unggul. Oh, group 3 is okay. uh, Tika Sang. Oh, Unggul. Oh, okay. Okay. Unggul. Okay. Unggul. Yeah, uh, thank you. From group 3 we discuss about the webinar and how to what is uh get the alumni to participate yeah about the webinar we uh, agree that the uh, once a month yeah or 12 uh, in a year is uh, appropriate yeah and about the topic uh, can be a current research today yeah uh, because we come from broad area yeah uh, and also uh, the topic of webinar also include because uh, alumni is not uh, only academic yeah also the alumni also work in industry maybe also current research in industry and can the topic can be what this can be used to bridge between uh, industry and university yeah collaboration and then about uh, how to uh, persuade our alumni to more contribute yeah i think it's about organization yeah uh, there is some what this we can, maybe we can create an organization in uh, World Indonesia, currently is, uh, is World Indonesia, and then there is some uh, what a chapter in each uh, maybe province, yeah, East Java, Sumatra, or Sulawesi, yeah, uh, and with uh, uh, what is a coordinator in each uh, uh, province, something like maybe Ibu Dewi and other group can be add uh, more if I miss something. Okay, thank you. Any any other input from group three? It's okay. Okay, thank you very much for your input uh, for the webinars. And I'm not sure whether you can have like each province regional uh, whatever organization. This might be too much ambitious. <laughs> Let's try to continue discussing about that possibility. Thank you. All right. Okay. So my time, can we move like number four, maybe? Don't say, say. Number, group four, please. I don't know who, who belongs to group four. <laughs> Mas no? group four, group five. <laughs> who belongs to group four? Oh, Maya, Maya, please, Maya Sang. Oh, Pak Solihin, Pak Solihin, please. Solikin. Yes, Solikin. You you know him, right? <laughs> Group four. Sorry. Sorry. Pak Solihin. Right. Any connection problem? Who belongs to group four? You can uh, give some idea. Oh, there's uh, Pak Solihin from Unsada. Uh, 
Uh, mute, unmute. Uh, ah, maybe I'm mute, right? Ah, yeah. Oh, already. Please, Mas Solihin. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, our group, we, we haven't talked much actually, but uh, in general, uh, because the member of the group is uh, uh, basically all of them are recent, recent uh, graduate, uh, doctoral graduate from Hiroshima, where, where, whereas I'm uh, uh, the same uh, era as uh, Professor Usni Tandra actually in Hiroshima. So, so basically, uh, I agree with what uh, uh, Prof. Usni Tandra said that uh, in Indonesia there is already uh, Indonesian alumni from Japan, Association of Indonesian Alumni in Japan, which is called Persada, where in the one of the slide is Persada Hiroshima Senior Collaboration Center, which mm -hmm. I'm now belong to. Uh, University of Dharma Persada, currently as a vice rector one academic affair. And at the same time, maybe I can inform about this association for uh, alum, alumni. It is, it is true that it's very difficult yeah, to ask uh, the, the, apa, the participation of the alumni uh, to, to join and to give gathering, to share ideas or experiences in order to make this uh, alumni association more fruitful for our institution, for our country, even for our individual. individual. But uh, it, is, it is a good start actually today that we can meet the, with the uh, very wide generation from one, 1981 yeah, to, to now, uh -huh. which is very wide. I belong to one of the, the first, <laughs> as Pak Husni Tandra. I said, he, he is laughing now to me. And and at the same time, after I graduated from Hiroshima, I moved to Kyushu, mm -hmm. Kyushu, to Kyushu University. And I, I happened to be the chairman of the Fukuoka Keng, Moto Fukuoka Keng, Moto Fukuoka Keng Ryugase Kai. So I just make a reunion like this with the all alumni from Fukuoka Prefecture, mostly from Kyushu University. So that is a good, uh, good uh, gathering, and then uh, and somehow we can make uh, the the scientific collaboration, uh, joint research, etc. And and in our group we haven't time, we haven't enough time to discuss the content. So only the introduction from the most of the member. Salam Pausni. Okay, I think that's from my point of view. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is good to know that you are uh, vice lector of uh, Dharma Prasad University, so we can directly talk to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. By chance, I was the first, uh, you know, the student exchange uh, between Japan and Indonesia in 1984, which is uh, organized by Prasada. So I had a very long history of collaboration with Prasada personally. <laughs> oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> and and okay. now, we, as a Prasada, we have a very close uh, contact with Hirano Sang. Hirano Sang. Now hmm. I don't know where she is now, but this is Hirano Sang in the international him. office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to say. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you. So please keep in touch and then continue to talk with you. Sure, uh, yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. All right. So my son, can we have group five? Sure, group five, please. There are many persons that I know, I think, from group five. <laughs> Who is reporting? Uh, Awal, Awaludin. OK, please, Awal. Mute. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you, everyone. So actually, uh, Sensei, in our group, uh, we don't have enough time to discuss about mm -hmm. the uh, <laughs> everything that you asked before. But yeah. uh, one thing that we can suggest is uh, maybe the collaboration or the program it should be fruitful between two party. I mean. Because we know that uh, this uh, collaboration is good for both parties. Like uh, in this case, Hiroshima University want to increase the exposure, like uh, worldwide exposure. But in our case also, 
uh, we also have a position in some university. So we think that the collaboration should also, uh, how to say, uh, a take or a give us, uh, gimana caranya ya? Diakui juga. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So uh, recognize also. So in Indonesian university also should be recognized also. So the collaboration between two universities should be uh, in reciprocal way. So should be take and give between two parties. So not only one party. So something like that. Yeah. So in this case, uh, like uh, in in our group, there is it was Iqbal Jawad Sensei. Uh, he said that maybe we can organize like uh, some unique program. Maybe we uh, we will uh, tell about the local genius in Indonesia. There is so many uh, local genius that can be dig more. So I we think that this will be interesting for Japanese student. Mm. So in 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 the other way, maybe from Hiroshima University can uh, uh, give us more information how but to link and match between university research and the industrial. Mm. So uh, we so that uh, that can. Uh, Uh, increase our opportunity also in the uh, university, Indonesian university, to uh, de deliver the uh, technology uh, from the research into the industry. So I think uh, we are still discussing about that that topic. And if there is any uh, uh, opinion from Group Five, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, still have time if group five want to add something to say. Oh, Pak Iqbal Jawad. Silahkan Pak Iqbal. Uh, so, uh, I just want, uh, would like to suggestion so that we have already discussed in group five, maybe that program we can call uh, uh, alumni voices, voice. So, Uh, maybe you can you can you can make a schedule one one time a, a month from Indonesian side and also from Japanese side. So that's uh, Kaneko Sensei already mentioned in the last of the presentation that they have uh, several times that will be available for the uh, webinar. It's only one hours until one hours and five, so it's not so boring. So we, we can we can get a lesson learned from the the from the alumni, from yours and also from Indonesian side. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So I think uh, thank you for your uh, great effort that we can uh, somehow you know make it like in a very short time, and I hope that uh, we. Just just started and we we wish we can continue a little bit more for you know uh making sure i mean uh, more concrete planning for the new chapter establishment um so uh i i wish like uh, we can find some way to have more kind of uh, you know effectively collect your suggestions and 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 so on from now on uh, so at the end Let me uh, suggest to have a, a little bit more continuous uh, webinar series. Um, can you can you see this? Uh, let me propose to have a next round of uh, this uh, webinar session uh, once again that we are uh, trying to invite some potential partner from Japanese industry and some others and then uh, allowing them to present their, their own operation in Indonesia and some potential collaborative interest with HU alumni group. As you are uh, not maybe aware, but now HU has a comprehensive partnership with Sumitomo Corporation and then CEO of Indonesia Sumitomo Corporation agreed to present and the next webinar opportunity so that one of the uh, the potential uh, speaker is from Sumitomo group and then the other we are trying to approach is uh, uh, Humakira which is uh, Hiroshima prefecture I mean the private 
company of uh, pesticide and chemical uh, pharmaceutical you know uh, manufacturing company um, that has some uh, huge operation in Indonesia. So we try to approach a couple of big Japanese industry to speak out their potential interest uh, of the collaboration with HU alumni. So if you have any suggestion from your side that we might uh, be better to invite, uh, just let me know. And also some other follow-up suggestions. Uh, we are open that my, my son might prepare some kind of a platform to collect your inputs. And then we consolidate all those inputs in the next webinar. Uh, currently, we set this, uh, you know, the webinar on the last day of July uh, on the same time slot. And so I hope that uh, you can join again in the next webinar. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sensei. So that's uh, the conclusion for our today web event. But uh, yeah, before the leave this web event, I think it will be great to have a memory of this initial uh, event to take more later for the Hiroshima University alumni in Indonesia chapter. And then please take a picture, all of us. Is it okay? Please turn on your video. So I will take the picture, all of you. One uh, for one screen, please one screen. Okay, I'm waiting everyone turn on the video. How many screenshots? How many pages? Uh, there are three, three, oh, three. three times. Okay, since uh, okay, this is the at first, first uh, screen. Okay, one, two, three. So it goes to the second. It's not everyone turn on yet. Nurul, but Nurul, there is a Nurul something. <laughs> Please turn on your video, everyone. Okay. Oh, there is Pak Hari Christijo. Okay. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. And then, oh, okay. There are two, two screen. Okay. That's finished. Okay. okay. Uh, that's, uh, I think uh, it will be this uh, first webinar. This is still initiative. Uh, the initial, initial, what kind of uh, letter event that we have to conduct, and there are many input from all of you. That uh, what kind of program and uh, this uh, kind of the organization would be uh, in terms of what something like this. So this is a uh, will be a good input, and later maybe from Hiroshima <coughs> City, Kaneko Sensei will uh, deliver more for this. Uh, about the formal organization for the alumni and also uh, take a more benefit from this uh, organization, I think. Is uh, Sensei, uh, yeah. is it still have a time? I, maybe yeah. we can give uh, one chance to anyone yeah. who want to say something? Is yeah. oh, Professor Iqbal, you raise your hand. Oh, Pa Iqbal. Please, Pa Iqbal. Uh, thank you, uh, Kaneko Sensei. I just want to make some suggestion about the speaker from uh, Hiroshima University. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, in Saijo, mm -hmm. there are five graduate from Hiroshima University who lead to make iPhone screen. Do you know about that, Kaneko Sensei? You know, iPhone, iPhone screen. Mm -hmm. I got I got information that uh, the patents of I, iPhone screens mm -hmm. is made from Saijo, from home industry uh, industry that uh, that uh, work with five graduate students from Hiroshima University, Japanese students. Mm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. It's very inspiring. Maybe if you uh, if they can uh, give us a lesson learned from the okay. next webinar. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thank you. Oh, can you can you give us uh, kindly a little bit more detailed information? We are not aware very clearly about that news. Yes, uh, I, I got that information from one of the graduate students from Hiroshima University. Mm -hmm. is right now is tenure associate professor in Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology, mm -hmm. Professor Ignatius Wulet Lengoro. Mm -hmm. He know much about, about that 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 uh, uh, Kaisa. He joni ano nani Oki Kaisa de Wanakute Chichai Kaisa Benja. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. I think uh, yeah, those, those suggestions are welcome. So please give us those potential speakers that we possibly arrange to speak out in our in our group of alumni. Okay. Thank you. There is a uh, Mohammed Petros want to say something. Yeah. 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 Please, Pak Petros. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you very much for the chance. Uh, Excuse me for my teacher, all professor, uh, Bapak Ibu yang terhormat, and uh, Hiroshima University representative. Uh, one uh, of the big concern of the uh, young alumni night and now is to to get newcomers, to get new newcomers to have, uh, I mean, uh, uh, study in Hiroshima University. But the problem now is about the scholarship. I think maybe uh, with this uh, alumni and uh, great collaboration with Hiroshima University, we can arrange uh, more clear about uh, how to get a scholarship from the side of Hiroshima University and then from the Indonesia. And uh, actually, uh, from uh, Professor Idrus uh, has already always uh, direct us how to get uh, this kind of uh, way. But I think uh, it will be more great if we can arrange more so uh, newcomers can get a clear pathway how to get uh, a study in Hiroshima University. That's uh, what I mean. Thank you very much, uh, Ibu. And yeah. that's all from me. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I think a scholarship fund jointly developed and maintained by the alumni is one of the big interests for our un uh, university. So then we need to also collaborate with industry. So that's what we are now at the moment is uh, exploring the possibility. So let us propose some our kind of, you know, uh, the idea. And then that's also another very important agenda for continuous discussion. Mm -hmm. So thank you much. Okay, maybe uh, there is okay. Hari, Pak Hari Kusijo. Padre Chris, do you want to say something? Padre still here? No. Oh yeah, the Padre. Padre, I'm mute. Okay, already. Yeah, thank you very much. I would like to propose to Kaneko Sensei. Um, after we set up a new organization for the alumni, I think it is better we set up the a uh, program for the executive program for PhD program. I mean, uh, alumni who work for the private and uh, government can, you know, enter the PhD program, let's say, using the five uh, webinar or, or every six months they have to go to Hiroshima University to present their proposal or their progress and so on. So it is very common uh, executive program uh, issued by uh, overseas university in US or Europe and so on. So I want the Hiroshima University also give benefit to the um, executive program for the government of Indonesia. Thank mm. you. I yeah, okay, Hadi-san, thank you very much. So, yeah, executive program or Japanese language program, whatever those educational, life learning, educational programs is also another issue that our agenda, we recognize this is one of the important possibilities. So please also you know, keep in touch and continue to discuss on that possibility. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great. Is there anyone on? Still, maybe uh, five, the last one <laughs> before closing this. Yeah. 
this is not the last one. I mean, this is the first one <laughs> yeah. so that, uh, yeah, we can continue and open and let's hope to continue this conversation in any form, like through email or, you know, the, the, the Facebook or whatever, please in give Indonesia, us your, yes, yeah. In Indonesia, it's very common using the WhatsApp group. Oh, WhatsApp, <laughs> WhatsApp group, whatever. Please try to discuss among yourself and then deliver those messages collectively to us. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I hope to see you in the second webinar. We try to continue a little bit more like this uh, monthly webinar and to develop our concept and idea and to be connected with you all. So thank you very much. Yeah, my son, maybe I think, uh, shall we ask uh, uh, Professor Tanla to give us a concluding remarks? Sure, Sensei, <laughs> yes. Professor Tanla. Uh, thank you so much. This is very good news to all of us who have come to this uh, uh, webinar. We have been looking for this seminar for a time, and it's a very wonderful and of my friends. Our students, thank you all for very enthusiastic and give you a very Simple but good result. Before I close, I would like you, Professor, uh, to give us your life to the time that you stay in this life. It's very helpful. So, thank you so much, everybody, and looking forward to seeing you in the next seminar. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, can I close this uh, web event? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone, for all your participation in uh, today's uh, web event. This is uh, the first webinar that's conducted uh, by Hiroshima University. And uh, we will meet again and again for the next agenda, not only for the webinar, but for the other, other activities, I think so. It's not only in the academic only, but also it can be uh, other activity, that's fun activity that's uh, proposed by some alumni. And then finally, giving applause to all of us. Thank you. Stay healthy. Be safe. Yeah, sir. Um, uh, excuse me, Oji sensei, and Oji sensei, no, tomo da ah, okay. Ano, pag nag-i time mo, good afternoon, sensei. Hi, good afternoon. Oh, yeah, very sorry. I just get this link from Dr. Pedro, so I'm not able actually to join this link, but I have a news actually from the direct, uh, director general of higher education that now maybe you already uh, get the information that Hiroshima University now is already including in the list for LPDP. Oh. Yeah, before, but that is true. Uh, through of the Kamendiknas, Kamendikbud, Ministry of Education, through the Ministry of Education, but mm. which we use LPDP. Mm. Uh, but I spoke some, some times ago with Professor Ochi, and he said that if Indonesian side able to get LPDP scholarship, and the university also will provide Mombusu scholarship. Mm. So I don't know. He, according to him, say that if we send, let's say, 
four or three uh, candidates using LPDP uh, scholarship, and we will get uh, around two, also two uh, scholarship from from Bambusio. something like that. Yes, I don't. Very, uh, I'm late to join this link because I got, I just got this link from Dr. Pejo. So yeah. maybe this is, this is yeah. uh, uh, we already try for one candidate, but hopefully in the next, we will get more, more uh, candidate from Indonesia to study in Hiroshima using scholarship from LPDP, but via uh, Ministry of Health, uh, Ministry of Higher Education. That is the information. Thank you, Professor Sri Tandra, Tandra Sensei. Thank you. Thank you very this much. Is, this information, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I heard that uh, you, you made a great effort for us to be included in the list of LPDP, and still some kind of a limited category of LPDP, LPDP that the HU is eligible to accept. But I think this is another big area that we want to have those uh, collaboration with alumni to find a strong candidate. So hope to continue to discuss how better we coordinate and arrange the way how we can you know, find the, the strong candidate for HU as a whole. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Hopefully, in the next, in the next uh, event mm. for LPDP, mm. I mean, I will also announce to not only from Hasanuddin University, mm. but also from all university in Indonesia, because Hiroshima now is already open the list for get the scholarship from LPDP. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. So let's uh, then hope to close and then see you again in in <laughs> July event then. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu. Bye. Arigato gozaimasu. Bye. Arigato gozaimasu. Bye. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Bye. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you.